If you've only got a hot minute, go buy this shoe. Go buy it. A hundred and nine dollars. One zero nine, everybody. When do I start with the price point in the studio? Never. Thank you, thank you, thank you. New Balance for keeping your prices in check in this current economic state. Unbelievable. And to, to boot, you get a TPU plate inside that midsole, meaning you're going to get a better toe off, a little springier, springier ride, a more responsive ride. $109. Now there's all the scores on your screen, everybody. I'm just going right into it today. Uh, the weight, not great. Okay, I think we're getting about 9.3, 9.4 in my size, 9.3 in my size. So it's a little bit on the heavier side for a neutral daily trainer on the roads, okay, compared to, in fact, it reminded me of the Noosa ride, actually, but it's a lot heavier. The Noosa coming in at 6.9, so we're looking at, uh, yeah, over two ounces lighter for the Noosa, and then also I was thinking, man, because of that TPU plate, it's reminding me a little bit as well of the uh, speed lineup from such as a little bit as far as the ride because of that TPU just not no, but the 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 speed is definitely definitely lighter I think uh, the speed is just over seven ounces roughly in my size I'll put it on the screen right now maybe 7.5 7.6 roughly so again about two ounces lighter compared to this guy but still at $109, we're talking value, we're talking pinching pennies, we're talking not breaking the bank account. I don't know. Um, okay, let's go into the upper. Let's just see here. Not, I didn't think so. Not a gusseted tongue at all. Uh, it's a one no no sew construction upper, meaning it's a more of a sleek fit. It's gonna fit. There's no seams, is what I'm trying to say, which is nice. It felt great on top of the foot. Not the widest. All right, if you have a wide forefoot, be careful. Uh, I would say it's going to be a little bit narrow for you. I felt nice and secure, nice and snug through the toe box, which means if you have a wide foot, just be be aware of that. Um, uh, breathable, very breathable. It's a synthetic engineered mesh. Okay, so a very lightweight. I love the upper. In fact, it's kind of baffling as to how he how it's picking up so much like that's actually very heavy in my size anything over nine ounces for a neutral road running shoe so it must be mostly that midsole mostly that tpu plate inside the midsole but um not a plush heel counter but perfect it's like they're not overkill it's not overkill as far as the cushion in the back of the heel counter there uh what else what else i felt secure through the lockdown okay it's um and you know a lot of shoes especially for me like I don't know, it'd be interesting, you know, always talk about the size of your foot, but do we often talk about the volume of your foot? Wouldn't that be interesting to go to a running shoe store? And I guess you would have to put your foot in a bucket of plaster. Or how would you do that? You could obviously just measure it with lasers and stuff. But if you stuck your foot in a bucket of plaster in order to, and then you pull your foot out, how would you actually do, and then let it get hard, and then you measure the volume of the, am I making any, the mold of your foot? Anyway, this shoe does not, the upper doesn't have a ton of extra material wrapping over the top. It's just, it's streamlined. That's a good word. It's streamlined through the upper. All right, we're looking at fuel cell midsole foam with that TPU plate. I've already talked about it a little bit. Actually, let's do, okay, see, it's not like a really rigid TPU, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm flexing that very easily, but it's gonna feel, oh yeah, glad I remembered this. If you're a Rebel fan, I am, Rebels, so Rebel V, I've, I've tested all of them up to the V3, and, but a lot of people don't like the Rebel because it's just a little too loosey-goosey, all right? Whether it's the twist test, it's just like, you gotta have strong feet, strong ankles to run in the Rebel. But you, you kinda like the cushion of the Rebel, oh my goodness, here we go. Um, but you want a little more structure to your ride, a little more support, a little more stability, boom. Propel V4, okay, let's just do, I think we're getting like high, tw yeah, 29, 30. That's soft. Okay, let me just confirm. Yeah, 30, 29 for that durometer. We're talking a soft. Let's do the thumb test. Oh, yeah. It's soft. It's soft, but the TPU plate is going to provide just a little more 
something, substance in that midsole so you're not so squirrely underfoot. And so Rebel fans, and you need a, you like you like the Rebel, but it's just, you know, you can't run in it every day. Whew. And at $109, what's the risk, everybody? What is the risk? Oh, yeah, they're available down below in the description. Just so you know, it is available right now. I don't know what the sizes are left, though. Just so you, I'm sure this shoe is going to fly off the uh, fly off the market. And, of course, you know I'm a, a heartthrob for the decoupled groove on the bottom of the shoe. It's perfect. And it, you're definitely not going to catch any rocks in there. It's just a little too big. It's amazing. It's perfect. New, it's perfect. The outsole is perfect, New Balance. You just... Keep it going. It's a perfect outsole. Um, now, the only, I suspect, drawback because of that durometer is that the midsole foam, I'm going to go 300 to 400. Uh, I'd love to see it get to 400 and be popping along, but I don't think you're going to get much past 350 to 400. All right, so it's not a huge, huge durability for the Propel V4. Sound? I'm done. That's it. I, I It's a good, it's a... It's, a, it's, it's not a great ride. It's a good ride with an, I love the upper, um, and at a price point of $109, what's there to lose, everybody? There you go, onward we go, oh my goodness. Um, other shoes to buy on your screen? I got nothing, because I was trying to find another TPU plate shoe that is in that price range and at that weight, and that's why we are at 7.9 out of 10. Uh, this is an eight shoe, except for the weight. Okay, so if you just, you know, if you know you're a runner and you're like, yeah, I'm not too concerned about the weight of a shoe, um, then you're looking at a great shoe right here. All right, and I suspect they're gonna continue to drop the weight of the Propel V5, Propel V6, moving down the line. Onward we go, unbelievable. Comment of the day, question of the day. Gonna pull that comment of the day from the Propel, uh, I think it's, it might be even two years ago, the Propel V2 full review. Uh, so there it is on the screen. Thanks for chiming in, answering that QD. And onward, question of the day. What was one goal that you accomplished in the past seven days? All right, every week we accomplish so much, but sometimes we don't reflect back and think, man, what have I done this week? What have I gotten, you know, what have I, I set out for a goal and I actually did it. So what is one example uh, from your past seven days since it is a Monday, it's always good to go back and reflect on you know, whether it's the last hour of our life or the last seven days of our life, I think. It just helps, helps keep us grounded. So, whoo, Propel, you got me going, Propel. Oh my goodness, we'll go, um, uh, I guess we'll go, yeah, New Balance uh, road running shoes, New Balance, all right, right there, right there, or maybe Rebel, I don't know, I'll make a decision in the, uh, in the edit, right there, right there. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.